I can quite clearly see the Western American footprint in these conflicts. Uh, if I'm right, what does the U.S. seek to gain from them? One of the he just won this massive election electoral victory. Eighty-five percent of the people voted for him. Uh, the Ethiopian people want Abe to transform their country. So Abe Ahmed has pledged to make Ethiopia self-sufficient in food, self-sufficient in energy, and politically independent. And this is a threat not only to the United States but to the the EU. So, and one of the uh, one of the planks of Abi Ahmed's electoral platform was he was going to nationalize all the land in Ethiopia. Now, this has been said to be done before in Ethiopia, but this is a threat to the investment uh, of the particularly the European Union. You see, the EU is dependent upon sucking the blood of Africa to maintain the high standard of living of their people. They've been pretty much, uh, they can't control, they can't exploit, super exploit Latin America and Asia like they used to. All they can, the only place they can really, literally loot and plunder is in Africa. For example, Anglo-American gold has been running one of the biggest gold mines in Africa in Tanzania, and they only pay Tanzania a 4% royalty. Now, Eritrea gets a 40% royalty for their gold mines. Now, if Europe has to start paying a fair share of the exploitation they're doing in Africa, they're not going to be able to continue to maintain the high standard of living, the, the social security and the education and the medical care that they provide to their, to their people. And they're already facing discontent in Europe. And if they can't continue to buy their people off, they're in a serious problem. And if they lose control of Africa, it's going to provoke an enormous crisis in the EU and their leaders know this. That's why they've been so ruthless in opposing Abiy Ahmed because Abiy Ahmed has made it clear whether we understand it or not, the, the national security establishments in the United States and the EU know that Abiy Ahmed is taking Ethiopia down the path that Eritrea is taking to be an independent, sovereign nation, self-sufficient, to break the bonds of, of aid and beggary that they've been, been foisted upon them by the TPLF for these past 28 years. So they're determined to see the end of Abiy Ahmed. Thank you.